Bears quarterback Jay Cutler. Uh, Jay, let's start with this. It's hard for me mm -hmm. to wrap my head around the fact five offensive coordinators for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it's perhaps hard for you. Um, Adam Gase is the guy. Yeah. Describe this offense. Uh, very multiple. Adam's kind of had some of the same influences that I've had. Uh, Mike Martz, a little bit of the West Coast. You know, he was with Josh McDaniels in Denver. So he's got a, a, a real mixture of different offenses, number system, uh, you know, code words, uh, Peyton Manning. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a large uh, bag of offense that he's kind of choosing from. And I think he's done an unbelievable job of picking different things from each offense. Uh, that works really well and meshes well. So he, he's put together uh, something that's kind of unique. For you at the line of scrimmage, what kind of freedom do you want and mm -hmm. what type of freedom will you have within this offense? I think we're working into it. Um, I don't think we're really going to know until we, we get into a couple preseason games uh, and see what we can handle because, like you said, it's a new offense. We're mm -hmm. just kind of trying to figure it out still. Um, but Adam does a really good job of giving us some options that he knows gonna, is going to work. You know how good Alshon Jeffrey is. Mm -hmm. You add Kevin White. Mm -hmm. He's on the pup. Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah. Martellus, mm -hmm. Matt, in and out of the backfield. Yeah. What's the dynamic this year and the weaponry that you have? Got a lot of guys. Um, like you said, we got Alshon drafting Kevin White, um, you know, explosive guy. We get him back healthy and, and get him going. He's going to add a different dynamic. Uh, Marty went to a Pro Bowl, caught a ton of, ton of balls, uh, a big body, can block for us. You know, and I think you add in Eddie Royal, uh, who we got from San Diego. I play with him in Denver. I know what he can do. Uh, a slot dynamic guy that uh, has a little bit of a change of pace mm -hmm. for us that we haven't had around here in a while. Uh, Marquise Wilson, um, you know, he had a great camp last year. Uh, hurt his collarbone, kind of came back at the end of the season. He's had a great spring. So we got a lot of guys. Brandon Marshall, former teammate. Um, very outspoken. Recently, yeah. you know, a little chatty about the chemistry yeah. issues last year. Mm -hmm. What's your reaction? Um, you know, no one really, no one really likes their, their ex-girlfriend just after after a breakup. So he's <laughs> uh, he's fine, and I, he's been like that for for as long as I know him. Um, he's a, an incredible player. He did a lot for us here. Um, it just didn't work out. You know, I mean, I could have been the guy that that, that got shipped out of here as well. So uh, new staff, uh, new GM. You just never know what's going to happen. I mean, he's going to do well. Uh, with the Jets, um, you know, I know he's in unbelievable shape. I've, I've, I've seen him work out in Chicago a little bit, so he's going to do well. Kyle Long said the walls have come down. John Fox is a motivator. Mm -hmm. Visuals around the building. Where is the chemistry right now with the Chicago Bears? I mean, I think everyone right now has a tremendous amount of respect for, for Coach Fox. Um, he does a great job in front of the group of, of giving us a plan, uh, showing us how we're going to get there, and then uh, you know letting us do it. Uh, he's not a guy that's going to uh, set a lot of rules, but you know at the end mm -hmm. of the day, um, you know if you mess up, you know you're going to be in his office and you're going to have to deal with him. Jay, you've got a couple kids at home. Yeah. You've got one on the way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a quarterback in this league, 10 years for you, who's been under as much scrutiny. Mm -hmm. You take the grunt of everything, yeah. and when there's glory, sometimes you don't get the glory. Yeah. How have you managed? I mean, even last year, mm -hmm. you know, they set you for a little bit. There's trade rumors. How have you managed to ha handle really the scrutiny that surrounds you <clears throat> amidst this this team? Um. It gets tough at times. I mean, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it, it hasn't been. It hasn't been tough at times. Um, I really enjoy uh, the guys in the locker room. I think we've got some exceptional guys. Got some really close friends. Got some friends that you know I'll have for life in that locker room. So they they help keep everything grounded. Um, you know, you, you mentioned uh, you know married with kids and, and you be able to to go home and, and play with play with the boys. And you know they don't care whether uh, you know we lost or we won. I mean they're just happy that I'm home and. I can play with them. So you got to find some balance in life and, and, and be able to uh, at times turn it off and just be able to forget about it. But, um, you know, it is my job and I, I love playing football and, and I'm happy that I'm, I'm still here with these guys right now.